All right, good morning, guys. We're getting right into it today. We have a sponsor for today's video, actually a new sponsor of the channel and a sponsor specifically for today's video, and that is Mystery Tackle Box. Guys, if you've never heard of Mystery Tackle Box, it is a subscription-based company where you can get these really cool boxes shipped straight to your door once a month, and you can actually get them for as little as $5. So this box specifically, I'm sure you guys have heard of boxes like the Bass Box that you know John or Alex talk about, but this box specifically is for inshore species. So you're gonna get lures that are geared towards, you know, redfish, tarpon, trout, snook, black drum. You're gonna get all that good stuff in this box. And it's super cool. I've never actually held one in my hand before. I've never opened one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, we're gonna check out the lures and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it today and start throwing them. So let's see. All right, so this is the box right here. It's super cool packaging, I love it. But super cool, we're gonna open it up, let's see. See what we got for this month. All right, so right on top there's a card here which it lists everything that you get for this box and how much it costs. So, see what the heck is in here. All right, so this is super cool. Here's some, uh, what are these called? Let's see. All right, so this is called the Catch Outdoors Bite Shrimp. And uh, right there, see retail, it would be three seventy-five. So that's one. Let's see. Next thing, this is the Coca Ho Minnow. I think that's how you say it. Three inch. But I really like these. I'm leaning towards these right now as starting off the day, throwing mangroves and stuff. So that is two. Look at this. Oh, Cortland Master Braid, fifteen pound, one hundred fifty yards. That's actually a really cool deal right there that you get. Wow, that's actually so cool. Nice. It's super smooth too. All right. So that's number three. Let's see, what we got right here. Here's some jig heads. These are called uh, Perfection Lures Hookup Swim Bait Heads. So, number four. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so that's a bomber jerk bait, and uh, that would be a killer at the inlet. Maybe nighttime throwing, throwing off the jetty. That would really get on snook right there. And let's see, we got some decals, MTB decals, and uh, what is that? Catch code decals. So, that's the box right there. You can see all that. That would cost quite a bit amount of money. Looks at about 40, over $40 right there. So with the Mystery Tackle Box, you can save up to 40% off your lures. And you can actually get your first box for as little as $5 if you sign up with my code. Using code Justin, I'll throw it up on screen right there. Go use that code when you sign up. And you can actually just click the link in my description and you can sign up easy that way using my code. Honestly, I think what I'm gonna throw right now I'm gonna start off with these Cocoho minnows. They're three inch, and uh, we're just gonna throw them on a jig head, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start throwing them. We're gonna hopefully get some uh, redfish, some trout, some snook, maybe a black drum, and honestly, you never know. So let me rig these up, and uh, let's start fishing. Let's see if I can get a fish to come out of these trees. <laughs> There's a fish. Here we go. First fish of the day. Get in here, buddy. There we go. Snook is strong. All right, first fish of the day on the uh, Cocoho Minnow. And uh, just a little dink snook, maybe about 16 inches or so. But he thumped it super hard, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get our slam today. I really want a redfish, a snook, and a trout. So let's try to do it all on the Cocoho Minnow, and uh, let's keep fishing. It's biting on my thumb. Let go. Let go. There he goes. All right, one species knocked down. Let's keep going. So what I like to do with really any paddle tail is I usually like to let the paddle tail do the work. I'm not one to like constantly be jerking it, changing speeds, all that. I like to just smooth reel it in and wait for a, just a thump. That's basically all I do. So, so just make a cast into the pocket in the trees and just a smooth reel out just like that. I feel like it gets the best chance of a fish really getting the whole thing in their mouth versus constantly changing the speed, jerking it, dropping it. Just reel it out just very smoothly, let the paddle tail do the work. And uh, I think if you do that, it'll hopefully uh, increase the amount of fish you'll get and uh, better hook sets for sure, I think. 
One other thing that I think people make mistakes on a lot is making casts too far out from the trees and not really putting it under. When you're uh, casting mangroves and stuff like that, you really want to skip it or put it as far towards the base as possible, towards like the base base, like back there almost up on land. And uh, most of the time fish like to sit, I mean like right under them. If you're 10 feet off the trees, you're not there. Fish are not going to come out and get it. They want it, you know, right in their zone right where they can get it real easily and stay right in the structure of the trees. So, just a tip, but. All right, I think we're gonna make a little bit of a run right here. Let's move. There we go. Oh my God. That was a big trout. Didn't get it though. Dude, these little tiny trout keep blocking me from that big one that just grabbed it. They're in these trees. Oh my God. I gotta stop setting the hook. I look stupid. Seems to be some trout in these trees, just like I thought, the way the current was flowing. Got him that time. Oh, it's a snook. It's not a trout. Not a bad one either. Not a bad one. <laughs> he jumps and throws it right there. Not, not really that big of a deal, though. He was, like, probably about the same size as the last one. Now, if that was a big snook, that would be another story. Snooker definitely popping this thing. I just heard a tarpon up in the trees right there. So, Let's see, hopefully maybe we might run into one of those. Oof, that was a terrible cast. I'm gonna get eaten though. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. There we go, it's fish right off the point. This looks like a trout. Yep, little, little trout. Oh my God, a huge sail cat is racing up to try to eat the trout. Come here, trout. Get in the boat. All right, there we go. We are two thirds of the way to the slam. And it's Cocoho Minnows putting in some work. Got a trout, a snook. Let's go ahead and just lay him on the ruler real quick, see how big he is. Not huge, but 13 inch trout right there. Not bad. Try to get a huge one. All right, there he goes, and we are finding some fish, so let's keep going. All right, I think I got a dip. The storms are getting really bad right now, so we'll pick it up again when the sun comes out, and I don't know what I'll be doing. Maybe I'll be bass fishing. Maybe I'll be saltwater fishing. I don't know. It is time to go. <laughs> All right, time to dip. Okay, so, so I'm about to make it back to the boat ramp right now. And hopefully you guys can see that behind me. It is about to like... Yeah, it's about to storm really bad, but luckily I beat it back to the boat ramp. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is wait till this passes and uh, we're gonna go get some bass. So stay tuned guys, and uh, let's get a huge bass today. All right, and just like that, we're bass fishing. Oh, there's stickers everywhere. Oh, I thought it was like super tight. All right, so I'm still throwing the same bait as earlier, Cocoa Minnow from the MTB box, and uh, honestly, it should be able to get it done in fresh water, so it shouldn't affect anything. Bass like a lot of different things, so we should be. I just saw a fat bass just go flying out of the grass there, Dylan. Oh. 
Oh my god. Big bass. Big bass. Get up here. Oh, yo! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Came right out of the drain. Oh my gosh. Yo, what the heck? I literally watched this bass just come up out of the drain and just engulf the paddle tail right there. All right, so right there, out of nowhere, actually not out of nowhere, out of the culvert right there, this bass, he's probably four, four and a half, came up and slammed the Cocahoa minnow right there. And uh, yeah, honestly, pretty fat bass, probably the biggest one I've caught in a while. It's just shook out right there. And uh, I don't know if you could see that on a GoPro, but I just watched his head come up and just totally slam it. So uh, let's try to get a bigger one, but it's pretty good. I haven't caught a pass this big in a while, so let's go ahead and just let him go. All right, come here, buddy. Ugh. There he goes. Yo, let's go. All right, so I am back at the house right now. Big shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. And honestly, I don't think we did that bad. Um, first time trying Mystery Tackle Box, I uh, pulled out the paddle tails that I liked and uh, we stuck a nice little trout, a snook, missed a decent snook, actually like a real decent one, but um, that's unfortunate, it happens. And I uh, ended up pulling a decent bass out of the fresh water at the end of the day. So I'm pretty happy with today's video. There's definitely gonna be more sponsored Mystery Tackle Box videos in the future, so I'm really excited to do more MTB videos. So do not forget to use my code. I'll throw it up on the screen one more time. And um, yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. But other than that, I will see you guys in that next video. See ya.